the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. And that light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Hallelujah. The Word of God is the beginning. It is the beginning of all existence. The Word of God is the center. It is the core. It is the source of creation, even the creation of God. And you are a part of that creation. And so to deviate from the Word of God, from which you were framed, is to lose your identity, is to lose your purpose, is to become empty as shaft before the fire. Because embedded in the Word of God is the essence of creation, the essence of God. And so to lose connect, to disconnect from the world is to lose essence, to lose value. And so no matter the trials and the temptation, no matter the pressure, whether societal or peer pressure, we must insist on the word of God. No matter how the boisterous winds of life and of the enemy come against us to distract us, to take our gaze from the master, our maker and God, we must keep our gaze fixed upon him, the Christ because he is the word of God. And so without wavering to the left, nor to the right, we must insist on the standards of Christ, because he is the word, and it is in him that we have and find meaning, because we were made by him and for him. Our essence, our modus operandi, was designed by him. As he stooped down and formed man from the dust, he had something in mind, and only him can tell you what he had in mind as he created you. And that which he had in mind, why he formed you, is your purpose, is your reason, is the reason why you are here, without which you cannot find fulfillment. Hence, to insist on the word of God is to find fulfillment, is to find peace, is to find contentment. No wonder the Bible says, godliness with contentment is great gain. Hallelujah. You're welcome to this episode of Youth Arena. I'm Sanctified Ako, and I'm completely confident that you will have a beautiful time here with us in the presence of God. Our topic for today is insisting on God's word and missed pressure. But just before we proceed, I'd like to bring to your notice that I'm not alone in the studio. Here with me is a music minister whose music ministry has blessed thousands. He's a music director, a music producer. He's the CEO of Capital Sound Studios. He's none other than Minister Emmanuel Ogra, popularly known as MAOG. How do you manage all of that together? <laughs> it has to do largely with the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Wow. The Bible says I will teach you all things. Yeah. With the help of the Holy Spirit and with time management and discipline. Yes. I am able to do all this. Glory yeah. to God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. It's Thank a privilege you. to have you here. And thanks for coming. I missed your tight schedule. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. So just as we stated in our introduction, our topic for today is insisting on the, the word of God. I missed societal and peer pressure. Tell us, sir, in your own words, what is the word of God? Okay, I think for time... Uh, purposes. We're not going to go into the eschatology of the Word of God, okay. defining the Bible as the written Word of God. But today we will solely concentrate on defining the Word of God as Jesus Christ. Okay. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter 1, verses 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, yes, sir. and the Word was with God, yes, and the Word was God. Yes, sir. From that definition, we see that Christ is the Word of God. Yes, sir. Another dimension to that definition, again, is in the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verses 13, which says that he is dressed in the cloth that is dipped in the blood, mm. and his name is the Word of God. Mm. So the Word of God is a clear manifestation of the mind and the will of God. Mm. The Word of God is Jesus Christ. Mm. So anything that Jesus Christ is to you, whoever Jesus Christ is to you, is the Word of God. For instance, the Bible says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So the Word of God is the way. The word of God is spirit. The word of God is truth. The word of God is life. Mm. The word of God is salvation. Mm -hmm. The word of God is Jesus Christ. Mm. Wow. The word of God is the clear manifestation of the will of God. Wow. That's powerful. So sir, just before we proceed, tell us uh, what is societal pressure? Okay, societal pressure mm. or societal pressure, pressure of any kind. Let me yes. start by uh, saying is anything that is a threat 
to your peace. Anything that endangers your life to me mm -hmm. is a threat. Wow. And it's also a pressure. Yes. I can add this to say that pressure itself is not a sin, mm -hmm. but it is your response to it mm -hmm. that makes it a sin or not. Mm -hmm. Take for instance, the only thing that stands between you and having that job is to have that affair with that man or a woman. Mm. At that point, it is not a sin. Mm. But if you succumb to the pressure mm -hmm. of doing that, that is what is what it's sinful. Sin. Yes, yeah. to me. So, pressure. It could be marital, yes. societal, yes. societal, yes. economic pressures or yes. financial pressure, pressure. Yeah. of any kind. So anything that poses that great threat to you that takes your peace away, yes. that makes you sleepless in mm. the night, to me, it is pressure. Wow, mm. wow. So either societal or peer pressure. Mm. Pressure is pressure. Mm. Pressure seeks to try to define you by force. Yeah. Wow, that's powerful. Mm. And so, sir, tell us, how did you overcome your, how did you overcome societal pressure? Mm. How did, because I know, you know, being in the music ministry, mm. I know your parents would be like, go, go do something else, mm. go do this, go do that. How did you overcome to pursue your dreams, sir? Okay, I remember very well when I got admission into uh, the university. Before then, I've always wanted to do music because I know I have the talent. But you know, this African uh, uh, setting where the parents will insist on what we study. Yes. What my parents wanted me to study is quite different from what I was passionate about. about. Mm -hmm. So how I overcame that was purely by wisdom, discipline, passion and time management. Mm. Wisdom in the sense that I actually wrote jam and got the course to study what they wanted me to do. Mm. Then why I, I, I did English? While studying English, I looked for a place where I could learn how to produce music. Wow. So if I was not in the class for lectures, I would be in the studio. Wow. So that, that has to do with time management yes. and discipline. And I was able to do that because of the passion yes. I had. So I overcame it just like I said, by wisdom, I was not rebellious to my parents. Yeah. I did what they wanted. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy because combining English and music has actually helped me yes. to go further in life. Yes. Mm. Wow, that's so beautiful. Rebe rebellion, you know, in trying to pursue your passion. Most of the times, we've, um, there's, there's a tendency to become rebellious. Yeah. But wisdom helps you to strike that balance mm -hmm. so that you, 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 your parents are happy and you are happy. God is happy. Everybody is happy. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So sir, just knowing what societal pressure is mm -hmm. as against what the word of God is already answers the next question. But just for the sake of doubt, to avoid doubt, I'm going to go ahead to ask you, what are the benefits of insisting? on God's word against the tide. Okay. A few, a few days ago, I was speaking with a group of friends and we we're actually talking about this generation. Mm -hmm. And I was telling them that this generation is the most arrogant, mm -hmm. most proud, mm -hmm. rebellious mm -hmm. generation. Mm -hmm. In fact, I can say that we are now worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. What is the tide about? We can see there is an increase in science. Mm -hmm. And what is it trying to uh, achieve? to chip away at faith's underlying verities. Mm. You, you, you now watch a lot of movies where they try to make, uh, make light with things like lesbianism. Yeah. I, I watched a movie where the father caught the daughter in, in the act, and he said that I am not angry at you being a lesbian. I'm only angry with you choosing that partner. Wow. So we can see that they are making making it euph euphemistic. Yes. By the time you keep watching that every day, you think it is no longer, yeah. Yeah. it becomes normal. Yeah. So you ask the question, what is the place of the word of God yeah. against the tide? Yeah. Let me ma make this illustration. Pressure of any kind, to me, is like an irresistible force. Mm. It is the word of God in you that makes you immovable. Mm. So when the pressure comes and you have the word of God in you, you are able to withstand whatever temptation, whatever challenge, whatever storm that is being posed by what by the pressure. So the benefit of insisting on the word of God, one, is that you'll be able to stand the tides. You'll be able to overcome whatever pressure comes to you. Take for instance, if you talk about suicidal pressure, to me, suicidal pressure is a spirit. So if you have, it is that spirit 
that talks to you to commit your life, and that spirit does not tell you the disadvantages that are there after taking your life. Mm. Life in eternity, because the life we live now, to me, is like a spoonful of water into an ocean mm. compared to the life we are going to live in eternity. Yes, sir. So if you have the word of God in you, the word of God will clearly state that it is wrong mm -hmm. to take your life because, one, you are not the owner of the life. Yes. Number two, if you have other pressures, maybe like marital pressures, financial pressures, and the rest, if you have now every pressure that comes to you, there is a particular word of God concerning it. Mm. So once you know the word of God, you'll be able to speak to that pressure. Yes, Jesus Christ, when he was being tempted, he spoke the word. So even as God's children today, your ability to overcome every form of pressure, maybe from friends, from your peer groups, from your boss in the office, whoever, mm. it is the ability to know the word of God mm. and to apply it in what? In that situation. situation. Wow. Then more so, we also can say that most times when God tells us to do something, it is for our own benefit. Yes, sir. Take for instance, God instructed the, the Israelites to mark their doorpost with the blood. Mm -hmm. If any of the Israelites didn't do that, when the angel of God was going around, mm. one of their children too would have been what, killed. Yes, yes. So when you insist on the word of God, there is deliverance for you. Yes, sir. And most times, when you insist on the word of God, there is divine guidance. Yes. The Holy Spirit speaks to you through the word of God that is in you. Mm. So your ability to withstand the pressure has to do with the, the, the amount or the, the level of knowledge of the word of God mm. in you. Yes. Wow, mm. that's so powerful. Imagine, imagine the world as an ocean full of tide, full of boisterous tide. And then imagine the word of God as the anchor to the soul. Imagine that you are thrown into an ocean without an anchor. That would be disaster. And so the word of God is that anchor. He said something so powerful. He said your level of resistance to the, to the tide is dependent on your level of the knowledge and application of the word of God. I ask you, what do you know about the word of God and how are you applying it to your life as a person? So just as we continue, sir, you know, you, you talked about finding the balance in your life and then in your ministry. I just want you to quickly add, add it up. Tell us how, tell us a little bit about your story. Tell us how you proceeded and how you, how God kept you from where you came from and where you've been today. Because I see you've worked with a lot of artists, you know, you've worked with a lot of popular artists. And, you know, it took some consistency in the work of God. So seeing where God has brought you from, there must have been some discipline. Just tell us, tell us a little bit about your story and how God has helped you to where you are today, sir. Okay. I graduated, graduated from the university in 2008. I did my youth service 2009-2010. And I came to the city of Abuja with all the hopes and the expectations mm. that I would get a job immediately mm. and start life from there. Mm. To my disappointment, two years, is as if my CV was almost in all the offices in Abuja. No job. Then one day I sat down and I said, okay, why I was in the university? I didn't lack money. Mm. Because after learning production, I started working in the same studio where I learned. I wow. was employed. Mm. So I said, okay, I could actually start a studio of myself, mm -hmm. despite not having a job. Okay, when I wanted to start, the finance was not there to mm. start. I said, okay, if I didn't have the finance in the university, but I was working, that simply means I can actually start up a business even without yes. the capital. Yes. So I had to go to a studio and I negotiated with the person in charge that I'll be coming to work with my artist on a part-time basis. I'll pay you for your time and then I'll have my own money. Mm -hmm. That is how I started. And with time I was able to raise something tangible to start my own uh, personal studio. And mm -hmm. since then, God has blessed me so much yeah. from what I've been doing because I've worked with a couple of artists yes. that I know if not because of the grace of God, I would have not yes. uh, worked for such people. If you didn't insist. Yes. yes. So, and that is because of the passion I had. Yes. And also 
because of the discipline and the, the people who are my mentors, I seek advice from them and they speak to me. Yes. So like I said, by the grace of God, this is what I've been doing yes. over the years. It has been sustaining me and my family yes. and not just the financial benefit I get from it. Yes. I'm always happy when people leave the studio being fulfilled. Yes. I'm happy when they share the testimonies, okay, that the song you produced for me is on different radio stations, is on yes. different TV stations, blessing yes. lives. Yes. I'm happy because to me, it is not just a business, it is also ministry. a ministry. Wow. So wow. that has also been uh, what has been uh, pushing me to yeah. go for that. Yes, wow, that's so powerful. He talked about passion and then he talked about purpose. Most of the times your purpose is where your passion lies. So what is that thing that you, you, you find joy doing? That could just be where God wants you to be. Continue being passionate and continue being there. So we'll take a short break with a powerful video of a song produced by Emi Oji and then we'll come right back to continue this highly refreshing discussion. Sit tight. You are my 
back that was a powerful song video and seated right here with me is the producer of that spirit piece it blesses me all the time and i'm sure you two were blessed by it thank you so much sir for coming it's a great privilege okay so having explained the benefits of the word of god mm. as against societal pressure and standing against societal pressure you know the next thing someone who's been listening to us is i will be asking right now is how 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 do I insist on God's word against societal pressure, against peer pressure, even against inner pressure? Sometimes pressure comes from the inside, the feeling of I'm not being, I'm not able, I'm not good enough, my mates have left me. How do we, how do we, sir? Okay, you cannot insist on the word of God if you don't have a relationship with the word. Mm. Earlier Satan will say the word is Jesus Christ. Yes. So for you to insist on the word of God, you have to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm. And I don't mean creating an acquaintance with Jesus. Mm. I mean having a one-on-one, -on -one, a personal relationship with the person of Jesus Christ. Mm. It is when you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior that you can insist on the word. Mm. Once you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, mm. then you can study the word of God often. Mm. You pray often, you meditate on the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And then, if you love somebody so much, uh, even as human beings, we, we talk about the people. Yes. Mothers always talk about their children because they love their children. Mm -hmm. So once you have a relationship with the person of Jesus Christ, the next thing, you also talk to others about Jesus Christ. Yes. If you have been saved, you reach out to others to mm -hmm. be saved too. Yes, so you create a relationship you insist on the word of God by having a relationship with the word of God, which mm. is what? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Then you can also, the Bible says we should not forsake the gathering of mm. the saints. Yes. So once you are born again, you, you I, I encourage you to join a Bible-believing church where your faith can be nurtured, mm -hmm. where you can grow more and more in the relationship yes. that you have with Christ Jesus. Yes. Wow, that's powerful. Now, sir, just to quickly wrap up, you talked about having a relationship with Christ as uh, uh, a prerequisite for enjoying the infinite blessings that are attached to insisting on God's word. Tell us, sir, those watching right now who do not have a relationship with Christ or do not know how to grow and um, intentionally manifest Christ, tell us, sir, to produce fruits unto eternal life. What do they do? Okay, I... Start by saying, there is, a, there is an old Chinese proverb that says, 15 years ago was the best time to sow. Mm. That the next available season to sow is now. Mm. There is danger in waiting. Mm. If, you are, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, right now, we can lead you to Christ. Mm. It is by believing that Jesus Christ died on the cross for you mm. and confessing that he is, that he is your savior, mm. that he came, left his throne, to come and die on the cross just for the redemption of mm -hmm. your sins. Yes, in that way, you can have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And once you have received Jesus Christ into your life as your personal Lord and Savior, from there you can begin to grow in the relationship. If I just met somebody, you won't expect that our relationship will be so cordial like somebody I've known for about 15 years. Yes. So it, is, it does not stop at accepting Jesus Christ into your life. It also continues by studying the word. When you read the Bible, God speaks to you through his word. Yes. And like we also said earlier, you, you fellowship with other people of like mind. Yes. In that way, you, your faith is being nurtured, mm -hmm. your spiritual life is being nourished, yes. and you grow from that level of being 
a, a son into becoming a more matured uh, son yes, in, in Christ. Yes, from childhood to sonship. Yes. Yes. Wow, mm. that's powerful. Mm. So, sir, there are people who have listened to you and they want Jesus in their heart. They mm. want a relationship with Jesus. They want to accept Jesus. What do they do? Can you just lead them in prayer and just say a word of prayer? Okay, if you are there listening to us and you want to accept Jesus Christ into your life, wherever you are, you can make this simple prayer with us. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, I admit that I am a sinner. I admit that I am a sinner. I ask that you forgive my sins today with the blood of your son Jesus. I ask that may you come into my life and save me from my sins. I confess and I believe that you are the Savior who came and died on the cross for my sins. I ask that may you write my name in the book of life, cleanse my name from the book of death, accept me today as your child, and help me to grow in your love and in your knowledge daily in the name of Jesus. And I say congratulations to you. Yeah. Wherever you are, if you have made this prayer, you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. The Spirit of God is going to guide you. He's the Spirit of truth. He's going to teach you at all times. In your moments of confusion, you ask for the help of the Holy Spirit. He's going to teach you. And I also encourage you to join the Bible-believing yes. church yes. where your faith will be nourished, yes. where you have uh, other Christians of like mind that will yes. speak to you about the yes. Word of God. Yes. Wow, it's been such an awesome time here in God's presence, and I'm really blessed. Don't forget to get baptized by the Holy Ghost and with water in mission. Thank you for coming, sir. Thank God you so bless much. you. God bless we really you. appreciate Viewers, before we go on a short break, I'll leave you with this word of life and light to meditate on. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we beheld his glory, the glory, as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Encapsulated in the word of God is the fullness of his glory. As we behold him, the Christ, who is the word of God, we are changed. How much is the word becoming flesh in you? How intentional are you on insisting on God's word? Show me your depth of communion and I will show you your depth of grace and glory. Your level of repeat, the benefits of God's word is directly proportional to your level of digest of the word of God. All right. We've come to the end of this segment, and so we'll take a quick break, and when we are back, we'll beautifully wrap up this episode. Don't go anywhere. You're welcome back, and as you know, it's still the youth arena. And this is the Artist for the Week segment. Our Artist for the Week is Edward Michael. He's a professional dancer, a guitarist, a gospel artist, and he's also a gospel producer. Wow, isn't that simply awesome? So you play the guitar, you produce, you're a dancer, and you sing. How do you do that? How do you manage all of that? Well, um, it has been God. You know, the strength of God has been the thing keeping me going on. and making me to be able to keep all those things together. Yes. Um, in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, it says, I can do all things yeah. through Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah. Wow. There he said all things, not few things, yes. not little things, you know, all things. And whenever I read this scripture, yeah. I it pushed me to even add more things to what yeah. I'm doing, wow. you know. Wow. So it has been the strength of Christ all yes. through. Wow, glory to God. Absolutely. How did you dive into music and dance? How, how? Well, um, it was since um, I was a child, um, since my beginning in church, um, they created this platform in the church where children can showcase their talent. Yes. So that was when I, I said, okay, let me see if I could join them and do Thank this. You. When I joined them, I realized that I could actually dance. Wow, I saw myself dancing, you yes. know. It was, it was awesome. You know, that was when I dived into it. I said, okay, I should start doing this. And um, miraculously, it happens, wow. you know. And um, from there, I began to go to shows. Wow. They invited me to birthday party, wedding yes. party. You know, so that was how I 
to dive into. Wow, that's beautiful. Your experiences have been beautiful. Yeah, okay, you. so tell us how, in your own words, how would you define dance? Okay, um, that's an interesting question. How do I define dance? Dance is um, an expression of feelings oh. or an emotions through body movement. Mm -hmm. Okay, why do I say this? If you check back in the Bible, the popular story of King David. Yeah. You know, David expressed himself because yes. he, he knew who he was doing it too. Yes. You know, he expressed himself. He danced to a point that he was naked. Yes. You know, just imagine that kind of expression, you know. From a king. From a king. Yes. And you know, people will be looking at him, wow, a king is doing this. Yes. Well, then who, who are we? We, we yes. can also join and mm -hmm. serve this God through, yes. through, through dance, you know. So I think dance is an expression of your feelings yeah. and emotion through body movement. Yes, and Bible yeah. says he inhabits the praise of his yeah. people. And you know, when his wife, his wife disdained him because of what he was doing, mm. God cursed her. Yeah, so God right. takes God takes our expression of worship very seriously. Yeah. Wow. And then what's what's been your highest point as a dancer? Wow. Well, um, I think that was when um, <clears throat> I was called to audition in the National Sport Festival. Yeah. Um, when I went, um, I auditioned, and they called me the next day wow. to come. You know, so I went. I went with them. It was a very great and powerful experience because I got to meet with several people. I got to meet um, people in the presence of Moiwa, the director of art in Abuja here, wow. and I got to meet people in the presence of Papa Jasko. Wow! You know? <laughs> <laughs> I saw all those people. You know, it was. I think that was the highest. Okay. points in my dancing career okay yeah what about your music career a music career well i'm um, still getting towards that because um i've been called to you know to to minister in churches programs yes, yes. and um also in wedding ceremonies too yes. you know i think i'm still getting there it's not yeah. i've not seen um, i've not then reached my highest point yet yes. in music but, but you're happy, you're satisfied, yes, and I'm you're satisfied, happy with yeah. what God is doing with you. Exactly. And so in that your little corner with whatever you are doing, make sure you're happy about it. That's what matters. Mm -hmm. And as you keep climbing, be patient with yourself. And uh, what I think for me, what what matters is happiness and contentment. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. You know. So uh, for you, what's that unique assignment that you feel that God has called you to do in the dance and the music ministry? What's your unique flavor? Wow. It's um, to preach the word of God, yeah. actually, because just as I said, David did that. He danced, mm -hmm. and I believe people that saw him dancing will say, "If a king could do this yes. to uh, to his God, we cannot. Let's we want to know this God. Mm -hmm. Let's also see if we can dance to mm -hmm. appreciate this God. Yes. You know, you can also use dance to bring people closer to God." Yes. By dancing it depends on who you are doing it to yes. if you know the god you are serving yes. you dance and yes. you like I, I was called once to dance in the church then when i when i finished dancing a guy met me and he said wow how come how do you do because there, there was one step i told yes. yeah i just did that he was, <laughs> how are you able to do this yes. come come and teach me this i said yes. okay you can come to my church this is my rehearsal wow. time on the rest wow. so he came to my church and from there, I started coming. Yes. You know, because of I know why I'm doing it too. Yes. So purpose. Exactly. So the basic assignment is to preach the word of God yes. through anything yes. you're doing at all. Wow. The basic assignment is to preach the word of God with whatever you're doing. You're a painter. You're a carpenter. Whatever you're doing, you're a tailor. At the end of the day, make sure that Jesus is glorified. Make sure that that thing you're doing is taking the gospel to the ends of the world in your own little corner no matter how small it might be hallelujah mm. so uh kindly just do something for us do one of your okay. songs in the, okay on the guitar. okay yes. thank you well the song i'm going to be doing is um you're with me okay um so it's online you can get it online okay and you can just type eddie mike okay. you're with me and you see it okay thank you let's hear it mm. What the Lord has done for me, I, I cannot tell it all. Oh, He lifts my head above my enemies. Oh, Jesus, you are the Lord. Of 
Your name is great. You with me always, oh God. Oh Jesus, I will praise your name. You are with me. You are always with me when I'm in trouble. You are always with me. You are with me. You are always with me when I'm crying. You are always with me. Oh, my soul will praise you. My heart will praise you. Yeah. You are with me always, so oh God, yeah. Oh Lord, I've never seen a God like you before, so loving, so true, yeah. You were with me always, oh God, oh Jesus, I will praise your name. You were with me, you were always with me when I'm in trouble. When I'm crying, oh God, you are always with me. I never want to go. I'm living in your presence day by day. Oh Lord, I never want to leave. Your presence is all I got. I never want to go. I'm living in your presence day by day. Oh Lord, I never want to leave. Your presence is all I got to sing you with me. You are with me, oh God. You are always with me when I'm in trouble. You are always, you are always. Oh Jesus, you are with me. Oh Father, you are with me. When I'm down, when I'm no longer strong. Oh Jesus, you set me from sea, you are always with me. Wow, that was lovely. I enjoyed myself. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing God to use you to yeah. give us that beautiful piece. So what inspired that song, You Are With Me? It seems like you were some kind of... Yeah. <laughs> yes. How did the song come about? Well, um, it was a very painful experience. I, it was when I lost my both parent. Mm. You no, know, I lost my dad when I was 13 years old. Wow. I also lost my mom when I was 20. Yeah, so, sorry for your loss. Uh, thank you very much. So, thinking of all these things, yes. and I was just lying down one day and all true, God has been with me. Yes. Even if my parents were not alive, they were not there to, you know. Yeah. Uh, when, when I was, uh, when I, when I learned production, they were not there. Yes. You know, they would have been proud that yes. their son is actually doing this, but yes. they are no longer there anymore. So God has been with me all through. Mm -hmm. So when when I think of all these things, mm -hmm. that was when the yes. song just came. Wow. wow, God is with me. He's always yes. with me. Yes. Even when I'm crying, when I'm in trouble, yes. when I'm in pains, yes. God's always with me. So mm -hmm. that was why, that was what inspired me yes. actually to write the song. Wow. The Spirit of God has the capacity to turn sorrow to joy. When His presence comes in, it changes everything. It changes your mood. It, it can just change your life, you know, and that's such a powerful piece. And I pray that God will take you higher and higher and higher and higher. Can we do the song again? Okay. <laughs> what the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. Lift my head above my enemies, oh Jesus, I, and you are the Lord, and your name is greater, and you are with me always, oh God, oh Jesus, I will praise your name, you are with me, you are always with me. When I'm in trouble, oh Jesus, you are all. Jesus, you are with me. Oh Father, you are with me. 
Oh, when I'm crying, oh God, you were always with me. So I never want to go out living in your presence day by day. Oh Lord, I never want to leave. Your presence is all I got. I never want to go out living in your presence day by day. Oh Lord, I never want to leave. Your presence is all I got. Come on, sing you are with me. You are with me, oh God. You are always with me when I'm in trouble. You are always Jesus. You are with me. You are with me, oh Father. You are with me when I'm down, when I'm no longer strong. Oh Jesus, you save me from sin. Always with me, oh oh oh. You were always, you were always with me. Oh, Jesus, sing. You were always, you were always with me. I'll praise you forever, Lord. You were always, you were always with me. There's nobody like you, oh God. You were always, you were always with me. Hallelujah. That was such a beautiful song and I have been enjoying myself here Mm -hmm. with Eddie Mike in the studio. Thank you so much for coming. All right, we've come to the end of today's episode. Thank you. And God bless you abundantly. To all our viewers, we say big thank you. And so on to see you again, same time, same station. Stay true. Keep insisting on God's word. God bless you.